Would you please stand? The Lord be with you. And also with you. Please be seated. <laughs> You're sharing. Get used to it. Okay. <laughs> it's great to welcome you here to St. Patrick's uh, on this special day as we, we celebrate the gift of God the gift of love that God has given both Jonathan and Claire and each other. We also welcome those who, who can't be with us physically, remembering particularly Ruth. It's, it's great to have you with us um, um, through the internet, but you, you're very much missed. Uh, we would love to have you with us, but we look forward to seeing you when you get home. They say that opposites attract. Claire is good looking. <laughs> Fun, intelligent, and Johnny. We're gathered here in the presence of God to witness the marriage of Jonathan and Claire, to ask his blessing on them and to share in their joy. Our Lord Jesus Christ was himself a, a guest at a wedding in Cana of Galilee, and through his spirit he is with us. Now, the scriptures set before us marriage is part of God's creation and, and a holy mystery in which man and woman become one flesh. It is God's purpose that as husband and wife they give themselves to each other in love throughout their lives, they shall be united in that love as Christ is united with his church. Marriage was ordained that husband and wife may comfort and help each other, living faithfully together in plenty and in need, in sorrow and in joy. It is intended with the delight so and tenderness that they may know each other in love and through their joy of their bodily union may strengthen their union of their hearts and lives. In marriage, husband and wife begin a new life together in the community. It is a permanent commitment that all should honour. It must not be undertaken carelessly, lightly or selfishly, but by God's help with reverence and responsibility, respect and the promise to be faithful. This is the way of life created and hallowed by God that Jonathan and Claire are about to begin. Though they will give their consent to each other, they will join hands and exchange solemn vows, and they will each give each and receive a ring. And therefore, on this their wedding day, we pray for them, and that strengthened and guided by God, they may fulfill his purpose for the whole of their earthly life together. Let's pray. 
Almighty God, through your Son, Jesus Christ, you send the Holy Spirit to be the light and light of all your people. Open the hearts of these, your servants, to the riches of his grace, that they may bring forth the fruit of the Spirit in love and joy and peace, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. I'm going to invite Philip up now, uh, who's going to read a poem, My Love, written by Jane Graham. My love by Jane Graham. You say you love me, I know it's true. Without your love, what would I do? My heart will sing, you kiss my soul. This is the thing that makes us whole. Together we will face our life, you as my husband, me your wife. Sharing, caring, journeying on, the only love knows for our song. The original plan was to have Ruth here to, to read for us, but thanks to the joys of modern technology, she can still be with us. Um, and we're going to put her up on this screen as Ruth brings us our reading from Colossians chapter 3, verses 12 to Heavenly Father, today we thank you for that gift of love. May you use my lips so that they may express your message and your truth. Amen. Jonathan and Claire, I can't begin to tell you how proud I am and how much of an honour it is to be part of your big day. Johnny, I've known you for over 15 years and uh, I have to say I still think of you as that headstrong teenager who did my head in. <laughs> but Just you have well. become a man who we are all proud to know. Johnny, it's an honour to call you a friend. Jonathan, we are all so proud of the man that you've become. Um, but may I also say that you have found someone incredibly wonderful incredibly special in Claire, a woman who deserved the very best, and I think that's what you have in each other, the very best. Jonathan and Claire, I, I can't begin to tell you of the love that surrounds you this day. Today, as you move on that shared road of life together, you do so surrounded by family and friends who could not be more proud of the people that you have become. Jonathan, Claire, we all truly love you both. Today we celebrate two young people coming together, promising to walk through this journey of life together on a shared path. Today, you are joined together in the closest possible relationship one person can have with another. A, a you will be companions in your lives together, comforting one another in life's sorrows and sharing together in its joys. A number of years ago, I spoke to a woman who uh, had been married for 65 years. She 
cared for her husband. She had to dress him in the morning and have him upstairs to the elderly and, and infer. But she told me that every night she goes to bed thankful that she got to spend that day with him. Those words that Ruth read for us are words written to, to a new church, to, to a community coming together. And, and I suppose that makes them relevant for today. As both of you start your shared life together as one unit, as one body. There are verses that require us to put on love, to live in the light of the peace of Christ, to, to live in the light of the message of Christ. It's a love and a peace that is won by the self-sacrifice of Jesus. A message of love, a love that saw him do whatever it takes to bring us to God. A love that saw him leave the throne room of heaven to die on a splintered, blood-stained cross, to die in our place. A love that inspires a response of thankfulness in us, but also serves as a model of self-sacrifice that we need to have towards one another. That self-giving is the mark of love. And to live in the light of that is a commitment to give of your very self to each other. To be generous in the extreme. Johnny, Jonathan, sorry. Give your very self to Claire. Give her all that you have. Give her your patience. Give her your care. Give her your forgiveness when it's required, and it will be. <laughs> Give her your time. Jonathan, be generous with her in every way you can think of, because that's what it means to give her your heart. Claire, give your very self to Jonathan. Give him all that you have. Give him your patience. Give him your care. Give him your forgiveness when it's required, and likewise it will be. Give him your time. Claire, be generous with him in every way you can think of, because that's what it means to give him your heart. A spirit of generosity is not something that you're, is only for today. It's something that you're promising for the rest of your lives. In a few moments, I will ask each of you, will you love one another? Will you comfort one another and honour one another and be faithful to each other as long as you both shall live? And you will answer with the words, I will. Not I do, but I will. You see, the words I do, they're a bit static, aren't they? They point to the present, albeit a present promise. But the words I do, or I will, exist not only in the present, but also look forward into the future as well. They're action words, promising an action for the rest of your lives. So today, as you're, you're promising to give of your very selves to each other, and to continue to give for the rest of your lives. Jonathan and Claire, it's my prayer for both of you that you would seek to live up to that promise as you leave here today and for the rest of your lives. And that you would put on love and live in the message of Christ, growing in his love together. I do. 
Would you please stand? Jonathan, could you repeat after me? I, Jonathan. I, Jonathan. Take you, Claire. Take you, Claire. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. Claire, can you repeat after me? I, Claire. I, Claire. Take you, Jonathan. Take you, Jonathan. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law. This is my solemn vow. This is my solemn vow. <laughs> Heavenly Father, may these rings be to Jonathan and to Claire a symbol of unending love and faithfulness, to remind them of the vow of the covenant which they have made this day. Jonathan, if you could repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. With my body I honor you. With my body I honor you. And all that I have I share with you. And all that I have I share with you. In the name of God. In the name of God. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. <laughs> Claire, can you repeat after me? I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. With my body I honor you. With my body I honor you. And all that I have I share with you. And all that I have I share with you. In the name of God. In the name of God. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. In the presence of God, and before this congregation, Claire and Jonathan have given their consent and made their marriage vows to each other. They have declared their marriage by the joining of hands and by the giving and the receiving of a ring. And therefore, in the name of God, I pronounce that they are husband and wife. What God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Now, Jonathan, it would be highly appropriate of you <laughs> to give your wife a kiss. <laughs> and a round of applause would be appropriate. <laughs> and we turn to our orders of service. So I ask you, the friends and family of Jonathan and Claire, will you, the friends and family of Jonathan and Claire, support and encourage them in their marriage? We will. Blessed are you, Heavenly Father. You give joy to the bridegroom and our lives. Blessed are you, Holy Lord Jesus Christ. You have brought new life to all your people. Blessed are you, Holy Spirit of God. Blessed be the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. One God, to be praised forever. Amen. Please be seated as Andrew Bell, um, Jonathan's brother-in-law, well actually Jonathan and Claire's brother-in-law, um, lead us in prayer.
Lord, I pray that their love would continue to grow, draw them closer together, and closer to you. As they start to see each other in my life, help them love and serve each other just as Christ served the church. I pray that they would be a blessing to each other as they put each other's needs and priorities above their own. Gracious Lord, our hearts are filled with joy for Jonathan and Claire, Lord, in these days and years ahead, may you be their joy and strength. For times when they are faced with difficult decisions or conflict, be their peace. For times of waiting and wandering, bring them patience. Lord, help them be a blessing to each other and people around them. May they, may they share the kindness you have shown us. Lord, thank you for the goodness you have shown them and all of us by sending Jesus. And I pray that Jonathan and Claire will share that goodness with people around them. Lord Jesus, you are the perfect example of faithfulness and gentleness, and we are so unfaithful in lots of ways. Help Jonathan and Claire be faithful and, and gentle, just as you are. Lord, for times when all of us can lose our way, may Jonathan and Claire have the all of us here um, no self-control. Sovereign, Sovereign Lord, thank you for this Easter time and the reminder of how Jesus died for each of us on the cross, removing our sin as far as east is from west. Thank you that Jesus' death was not the end, but he rose again victorious. And thank you that he is coming back to restore your creation to how it should be. Bless Jonathan and Claire in the journey ahead. Thank you for the plan that you have for them. Keep your hand upon them in these days, and all these things we ask in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm going to invite Sarah up now to sing for us.
Would you please be upstanding for the new Mr. and Mrs. Nelson?